I was at the zoo in Australia and I saw two kangaroos humping. <laughs> and it was funny because it was Australia and kangaroos are like squirrels. So why would they get a zoo? But anyway. <laughs> so, but, but I was watching them and, and they were, you know, mating and uh, and I, I didn't realize they could see me as well. And I made eye contact. And it was the kangaroo in the back, so I think that makes it the male. <laughs> and uh, I'm watching it, and, and, and he looks at me, and he's, you know? And I, well, things started becoming confused. I, I became, like, sexually confused for a <laughs> I did. You know, have you ever been, like, watching a TV show, and it's an actor you've never before found remotely attractive? But all of a sudden you're watching it and you're like, yeah, mm, take it off. <laughs> I can't think of, <laughs> I forgot the guy's name. Oh, trauma. What's the guy's name with the crazy eyes and like the pleated teeth? Steve <laughs> Buscemi. yeah, okay. He's hot. He's hot. What's his name? Do you remember his name? Oh, William Defoe, that's him. Oh, Crazy eyes, oh, oh, yeah. pleated. <laughs> yeah. He looks like, wow. <laughs> what else? Um, so recently I was watching this documentary on um, <laughs> Osama bin Laden. You know, you're flipping channels, you don't know, and all of a sudden you get wrapped up in something you didn't mean to watch. <laughs> I was watching it, and I was, you know, I was sitting there, and I was like, Oh my God! And it was talking about you know his his childhood and his jihad, and his reign of terror. And I got caught up in it, and I was like, oh, he's got beautiful skin. <laughs> <laughs> he might be an awful man, but he's got a great complexion. <laughs> you know, but I hope I hope the U.S. catches him. I, I do. I'm a patriot. I hope we catch him. And I'd love nothing more than to walk in the interrogation room, you know, like he's under a bright white light, all tied up. Now come in. And I'm tough in this scenario. <laughs> and I'd be like, hey, Osama. <laughs> what kind of moisturizer do you use? <laughs> What are the ingredients in the Jihad night cream? <laughs> That's all it is, just camel spit and sand? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. What else? Um, so when I was growing up, I don't know if anyone remembers this, there was this ad campaign and it was about just say no. Remember it? It was like just say no to drugs. And now that I'm older, I'm kind of annoyed. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm pissed off about this because I'm like, there's so many more important issues as a child I wish I'd known. You know, important things like remember to moisturize and don't neglect your neck. Because <laughs> your neck's always the first to go. <laughs> Kids don't know that. <laughs> if they want kids to stop smoking, that stupid ad of the guy with the tracheotomy, oh, not the way to go. Here's what I do. I show like a close up of a 95 year old woman's neck. <laughs> and I'd slowly zoom out. Kids watching it would be like, it's a hippopotamus leg, it's a hippopotamus leg. No dog, no dog, that's an elephant trunk. Then <laughs> realize it's like an old lady's neck and she's smoking. And probably for effect, to show the old lady cleavage wrinkles as well. <laughs> the ones that look like burnt cheese toast. <laughs> She'd be like, come smoke with Esther! <laughs> I get kids to stop smoking. Um, so I'm married. I'm, I'm actually very, very happily married. I have a wonderful husband. Um, but my mind wanders at times. And uh, I thought about, I thought about, you know, what if me and my husband got another man? I love threesome. 
Then I start thinking about the repercussions. You know, and I'm not talking about like the long-term damage to our relationship. Mm -mm. I'm talking about me being in bed, talking to two men, and both of them going, mm. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> You think of a threesome as something different, right? Two ladies? Entirely different. Entirely different. <laughs> There's no snoring men, usually. <laughs> no snoring men. Yeah, see, men think of it as two ladies. And see, I personally think that would never work either, because I would go something like this. Hey, Pam, Pam, does my butt look fat in this position? <laughs> We're going to have to go shopping after this. <laughs> yeah. So rather than leave you with the mental picture of my big ass, <laughs> I'm going to leave you with this. Clean and sassy, inspired by Vicky. Um, her ladybug thing reminded me. One time my husband and I were talking, and I was like, do you think male ladybugs have a sexual identity crisis? <laughs> you know, we were talking about, I was thinking about it, I was like, I don't think they do because we call them ladybugs. They don't call each other ladybugs. They call each other. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs>